Que lo que mi gente, it's Big Papi Lee back at it again with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and yes, it is true that I moved from Miami. So I moved to Texas because my job was gonna temporarily lay me off because of COVID. But they give us the option to transfer to either Chicago or Dallas. And um, some coworkers were gonna move to Dallas. So they were like, oh, why don't you come live with us? Uh, you could stay you know, with us for a little bit until you get on your feet. Um, so they're like, hey, we're going to Dallas tomorrow. You wanna go? So I was like, okay, let's go. And we could look at apartments, blah, blah, blah. So we, uh, we went and I really liked it. Like I could see myself living there. It's a little bit different, but you know, you know, I, uh, besides the job, I felt very, like I wasn't going anywhere. And like, I wasn't doing anything in Miami. Like I've been here, I was living in Miami, you know, my whole life, 21 years. And you know, everyone is like, you're crazy. Like, you're gonna miss the Miami life, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, the Miami life is dead right now because of COVID. Like everything was closed, everything, blah, blah, blah. You know, there wasn't anything doing. Like I was just going to my friend's house if I could. And going to work and coming home doing anything like I want to experience something different like I've seen a bunch of people that I grew up with or like you know my high school friends like they've went out and they've experienced new things new places and they're like you like you'll like it you leave Miami and you'll like it so I've been very much into tea lately I'll just be hating like the taste test before like to test the temperature I'll be like I just felt I wanted something new and different and I felt like Miami had a lot of bittersweet memories for me and like I could always come back to visit to do all the fun party stuff but yeah um, Texas is more affordable you know to be independent like I want to be and plan to be um, you know there's that bus on Twitter about moving to Texas and Texas is big and blah 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 so i was like you know at least it's i live in a city i don't live in i don't live you know in a rural area like you know it would be it would be different if i moved from a big city miami to like a small little town in like montana or something so yes i live with roommates in this two-bedroom apartment uh, i live in the living room this is my bed and next to the Christmas tree and the blinds. This is my little corner right here by the door. You know, it's, it's not easy, but it's a sacrifice. You know, this is a, it's about the journey to freedom. Let me stop. Uh, but no, for real, like I, I'm grateful that I have a place to stay, you know, like obviously I'm not gonna be able to just get up and move to a new state, new city and have my own place like this. Like it's been an adjustment. I miss my family, I miss my friends. I miss privacy. Um, but like, it's not all bad. I do live with two straight males. Yeah. They, it's interesting, and you know I don't get why gay, why straight boys be loving to act gay. <laughs> so we made an agreement where one of them will cook, the I will do the dishes, and the other one will take out the trash because, yeah, these motherfuckers be dirty. And nobody wanna listen to me when I say clean up. So I'm just like, dude, we don't have a deal. Uh, I definitely see why people live live alone. This shit, child, I want my own place already. Like I'm ready to get up out of here. It's coming soon. We're like a little family because we be fighting sometimes. But then, like, we get along sometimes. 
they be getting on my nerves all the time. You know, they have their girlfriends come over. I got a little boo thing, he come over sometimes. Um, yeah. Texas is colder than I thought it would be. Um, it's 34 degrees outside right now. Ooh, I work the morning shift, 6.30 to 3. I be freezing. Every time I go outside, I be like, woo! But you know, it's different. Like, I just, I wanted different and I got different. Cause I've never, you know, Miami doesn't get that cold. It's nice. The people here are not really nice. There's no state taxes. Uh, you really get your money's worth when it comes to places around here. A good place could kind of start at like 750, but the better ones are like 900 for just rent. I'm bougie and I may, may go for a thousand more, but I also would have to work my ass off every day, so I don't know. But you know, and it is my first apartment, so I guess it could be a little ghetto, but whatever. The place we live at is real nice. I'll show you guys a tour later. Yeah. I had to adapt to a lot of things. Like, you know, I went from living, living with mom and dad and, you know, saving all this money and to living here with them and learning how to pay rent. Um, the first to the first like month I was broke and it felt like I was broke well I was broke for a month kind of it felt like forever like I was broke forever because you know I had to budget I had to learn how to do a new budget because the one that I had before I didn't have to pay as much stuff but now I'd be left with like little ass things like ugh. It's real hard, okay? It's real ghetto out here. And if you live with mom and dad, stay with them. Because this is not fun. I mean, it is, but it isn't. The pay bills part is not. My first week here, I got a flat tire. And we called Geico. They took forever to get there. And the whole time I was like, you know what? I should have done this from the beginning. Like I know how to change a flat tire, but my mom was like, oh, but we have the service for that. We pay for that. And I'm like, I could change it and not wait as long. So I freaking did it. I put the, the spare on, went to go look for new tires, got some new tires. Oh my God. That's why I'm broke. There were some, those unexpected expenses be getting you. So make sure you budget and save some money. I mean, save lots of money if you're gonna move out. I caught the Rona. Great time. Couldn't go home for Thanksgiving. I was real freaking sad about that. I was in good company with my little boo thing. We quarantined together because he got it too. So what happened was the first day my back was hurting the night before, like really bad because I had like hurt it at work. And then I called out the next day at, wo at work and I was like, I was not feeling good. Like I was, I also had like a fever that night and in the morning kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to work today. So I called out and I went to get COVID tested. I was feeling fine. No, I felt weird. I felt like lightheaded all day. So I went to get tested. And then like a day or two later, it comes out that I'm positive for COVID. And I was like, oh my God. And then like, you know, three days after I got tested, four, it was like four days or like a whole week. I don't remember. I think it was just, it was, it felt short, but it was probably not. Uh, I lost my taste. Like I could taste Coke. with ketchup like my ketchup. Um, 
but I had lost my smell too. Like my nose was so stuffed, I couldn't smell nothing and I couldn't taste nothing either. Like it just felt- Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I don't taste anything. I don't taste sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, milk, nothing, nothing at all. It's just bland. Like, is this, does this have flavor? Like, like I, you know, I thought I was just, I was like, there's no way you, do, you actually lose your taste. But yo, that shit lasted for like days. Excuse me. And yeah, lasted for days. And I kept getting retested and I was still coming out positive. And I was like, oh my God, I want it to be over. But I'm good now, so. Wear your mask, social distance, stay at home. Thank you for watching this video and tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And see you next time.